Right, I'm going to look at this bulb here. This is a bulb which I've had in my overhead lighting here, my room, my lab, office, whatever you want to call it, where I do my recording, my videos. I actually had two of these inside an overhead lamp, which it is Edison screw type, and this one started flickering, it started pulsing on and off. So I thought I'd pull it apart and have a look at it. Maybe we can fix it. Let's see if we can fix this bulb. Why not? So the first thing is to try and get into it. So I've got this little thin spudger thing here, which you can probably get down the side. And it's also got these like clips here around the outside. So if I can't pop it off with this, I might just try pushing those clips, but they could break. So I'm going to try this approach first. I'm in there. Oh, that started moving. Looks like one clip came off. That might be it though. One clip seems to be it. Come on, do another one. This is a really thin spudger. There we go, two clips, and it's out. Alright, so there's a lens, there's a reflector, and there is the LED. Alright, so it's got a couple of screws in there we've got to get out. Let's get a simple screwdriver. Oh, it's, it's floating. That's interesting. Okay. I guess that means the lens reflector part here is what holds it down. It's not actually clamped down. Uh, oh, the whole back is coming off. Okay. All oh, right, so the screws hold this assembly onto the back. And this hasn't been powered up for months, so this is be safe. There's not going to be any stored charge in it. It's been sitting on my desk for a long time. And here's what's inside it. Okay. So we have some interesting electronics. So you can see there's actually some discoloration around here. It's been getting a bit hot, but it's um Well, I was hoping to be able to fix this, but maybe it is the LED. I mean, it could be this, because this has been overheating. I mean, I don't know what this is. What's that? What is that part? Bob being crunchy. Hmm. It's got a transformer. Capacitor. What's under there? Diode, is it? Maybe? Fusible resistor? Transistor? Okay, so this is probably actually a little switch mode power supply. Like a little current regulated supply to drive that. Actually, got an isolation slot in there. Seeing this dark area here is quite concerning. It's obviously been overheating quite badly just there. So, okay, I think it might be an electrolytic cap in here, but it obviously isn't, so that's not going to be the problem. My saying if it's always capacitor. So, I'm also wondering if maybe it's just overheating on the actual LED itself. I mean, that's possible. Uh, yeah, the thermal compound is actually really dry. That's fairly dry, actually. So, maybe I could just try putting some new thermal compound in here. Refresh that, get that all nice, maybe clean this up over here and just see if I can maybe get rid of that browning <laughs> and try again, I don't know. Well, I've just given the board a bit of a clean up here, a bit of IPA and a brush and that's actually looking a lot better now. It doesn't actually look like it's damaged, so that might be fine. So I'm actually going to go with the theory that maybe the thermal compounds dried out too much on the actual LED here and it's causing it to overheat and cause problems that way. So I'm going to just put the back end back together and do something about this LED the thermals on that. So I'll just start scraping off this old thermal paste because say, it is a bit dry. It's not really bad, but it could certainly be better. Now let's put some traditional paste on it and see if that actually solves it or not. The back of that's pretty good, so I'll just get some in there. So I'm just going to literally squirt this onto the back of you know, the syringe. I'm not worried about putting heaps on because, you know, I think if it squirts out it doesn't really matter too much. There's loads on there, loads and loads, way too much, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright, flip this around. Try to feed those wires back in as well. Obviously that will have to bed down, let's get some tweezers. I mean it's entirely possible this doesn't work at all, 
right? It could be, it still plays up. It could be the electronics. It's entirely possible. So anyway, let's put those down like that. So those wires are tucked out of the way. Give us a squash and a bit of a wiggle around. Try and squeeze the paste out right through. There we go, it's coming out all the sides, so that's looking pretty good. And that's definitely pushing down the LED like that, I can feel it pushing. So we'll put the lens back in again. I mean, this may not work. Well, it might work. Don't know. Let's just assume it's a thermal problem and we'll go with that. All we'll now is get these clips back in. It's two. Here we go, three. All right, it's back together. Hopefully, that keeps working. And we get some bonus footage. Now, I actually just swapped this bulb out with the one I've just repaired, right? Well, I've potentially repaired it. It's working. I put it up on my lamp at the top there, and it's lighting up. This bulb here was completely dead. It wasn't flickering. It's just not on at all. So let's pull this one apart and see if this one's any different. Obviously, inside's going to be exactly the same, but uh, we'll see if there's any kind of signs of what's gone wrong with it. There we go. Exactly the same construction as we expected. It's no different. Let's put the back end of this apart and see if something's actually blown. Can't see any but dark marks on UDD. So this one's just completely off. It's not working at all. Let's have a close look. Same deal, discoloured around there. No obvious blowouts though. This side. Oh, is that resistor blown? There we go, that fusible resistor's blown. See that? Okay, that's why it's dead. There we go, this one's actually got a proper failure with that resistor there being blown. At least that's what it looks like to me, that little mark on the side, the little burn mark. I think it's actually blown that resistor. Check out the other videos. Subscribe if you've not been subscribed before. Click like if you found it interesting. Catch you later. Bye.